Okay, let's start it up and see how it does. I must say it doesn't feel any different and flying the drone for the first time feels very familiar, which is something I appreciate about DJI's lineup. Everything just works the way you expect. Firstly, I noticed that the battery life doesn't seem dramatically different. DJI claims up to 51 minutes of flight, about nine minutes longer than the Mavic 3, but given the minimal battery capacity increase, I was skeptical from the start. The biggest change is the gimbal, which can now rotate 400 degrees and has a much wider vertical tilt range than before. Look how far it can go, it's 70 degrees upward movement. Also thinking it's good to note that Mavic 4 now has no controllable pan movement. I really miss that since the Mavic 2 Pro. The main camera lens is now slightly narrower at 28 millimeters versus 24 on the Mavic 3. While the sensor is capable of 6K60, in real world testing, the footage doesn't look different from the Mavic 3. Shooting in D-Log produces almost identical results, which means I can keep using my existing presets with only minor adjustments. One drawback I noticed was a bit of moiré effect when filming water, something I'll compare more closely with the other drones in my upcoming full test. You can tell it's 6K as you can zoom in and it still looks great, 